friends so I just wanted to do like a really little fun video for you guys so today I'm going to be talking about my favorite movie which I don't know if you can tell from the flounders in my background or my sweatshirt or even this hair but my favorite movie is The Little Mermaid and I also really like plush toys which again you might have noticed <laughs> or if you actually know me you know that like plush toys are my favorite like friends give me like plush toys for like my birthday and Christmas and I love them so today I really wanted to talk about the differences between the newer plushes and the vintage plushes for example today we are going to be talking about Max so I have two Maxes here and I recently got this Max which is the vintage Max I used to only own this one so let's start I guess with the newer one so I'm gonna put Max down over here where you can't see him but I just really want to talk about like the differences between them this isn't like a formal like review or anything it's just for fun so let's talk about Max so Obviously, you can tell he is just a lot smaller than the other one. His fur is a lot different. Um, if we look at his like face, these eyes are embroidered. As well as, you know, it's a little cute face. Also, it's hard to see his eyes on this one because the fur gets in the way. This fur is very soft, but since the moment I got this, this was actually a Christmas present, I believe, from my mom. Um, it bugged me that Max in the movie isn't as gray as this Max I'm holding right now. Max in the movies and even the books is a little bit lighter. He's white and gray, but not this dark of a gray. So it always bugged me that I had this Max, and this is the official Disney store one. Where is, where is it? Right there, on the foot. Genuine Disney store product. And I was always kind of disappointed because it's hard to find like super like precise um, plushes nowadays because even the Disney store doesn't make them exactly like the ones from the movie. Like, if you like older movies you know what I mean like the plushes do not look like they did in the movie or like the original plushes they sold during that time which I understand times are different like the whole Disney style has changed which I can talk about that for hours because they changed a lot of the original princesses and I, I could just go on forever so I digress so this is the new one I believe I got this one like two three years ago so he's not that old I'm pretty sure this is still the Max they sell at the Disney store, if they still sell them at the Disney store, which I'm not entirely sure if you can still buy this exact one. So now, I want to move on to the one that I recently purchased, which was this Max. This is the original Max that they had, I believe. So this is 1989. This plush is older than me, okay? So he's like very old. and. Uh, where does it say? Oh, it's on the collar. So if you see his collar, it says Max from The Little Mermaid and it says it's exclusive, exclusively for Macy's. So this, I guess, was sold at Macy's while uh, merch was being sold for the movie or the upcoming release. And we can quickly go in and tell that his eyes are like plasticky which I really like from like the older plushes it they're like plasticky eyes and they're not embroidered although the embroidered looks nice I like the glossy finish that they put on these type of eyes which is why I have my favorite flounder being uh, one of the vintage ones instead of like some of the newer ones which are embroidered so this max the hair seems a little bit more rough than the newer one this one is softer but this one kind of feels more real like um, so if you've touched a dog and he's they're kind of rough or even like if you've gone to the petting zoo and touched a goat like it's a little bit rough it's not like super soft hair and that's what this guy feels like which I really like I will also mention this one is a lot bigger if I bring up the other max this one is smaller and he's also on four and this max is sitting down 
which I really like having that contrast. I will also say it's adorable how he has his tongue out. It's so cute to me. And I believe there's a tag somewhere right here by his butt that says this was a promotional product. So I don't know if that means this was the plush being sold to the like general public or this was like a display one that they put out to advertise the film. I'm not exactly sure. Again, I wasn't even born when the movie came out. So I wouldn't exactly know, but I have like looked into eBay and stuff and apparently this is supposed to be what they sold. So I'm not like entirely sure if they had a different version at the Disney store. I haven't done my homework. So this Max is a lot. How do I say this? It looks more expensive to me. Like this Max kind of looks a little bit cheap to me. I don't know why. It's probably because everything's just embroidered and like... It's not paying attention to too much of the movie detail, which, hang on, let me actually grab my, or like, storybook so you can see Max, the one that I'm referring to being, like, more white and gray than just solid gray. Give me a sec. I have returned with my book that you might have seen this book in my How to Make a Mermaid Tail Blanket video, which I will link down below in case you want to make your own mermaid tail to chill around in the cold weather. I know it's raining really hard. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining really hard outside. Um, so it's always nice to bundle up in a mermaid blanket. So let me open this up and find Max. Okay, look right there. That is Max. He is white and gray. Which, if we bring up the newer version of Max, does not really look like him. I guess he's shaggy haired and stuff, but I don't think that like they should be selling something that's not exactly that accurate to the movie. Again, I'm just nitpicking. It is a nice quality um, plush. He's very soft and he'll lounge around my bed sometimes with the rest of the plushes back there and he is very soft i will say i love both of these maxes i love having like the newer plushes and then like one of the more vintage ones just my personal preference this guy is a lot heavier and like harder to like put in the bed with me so i usually just put him on display um again i've only had him for like a week so He's just on display, sadly. This guy can chill around with me in bed and stuff because he's not, like, super uncomfortable. He's fairly soft. This one's a little bit tougher. Like, right here, I guess it's a little bit weighted or just, like, I don't know how to describe it exactly. He's kind of hard. Like, it feels like a hard dog. It's a very solid feeling. Like, it'll give in, but it's also very hard. Which is fine. He's like perfect. I really want to get some pictures done with my aerial cosplay uh, at the beach. So I would definitely prefer this Max over this Max. Just because he can sit by himself and he doesn't move really. And he's just super cute. I also like that this Max has a collar. And then again, this one doesn't. But again, I just kind of did this, did this little video for fun. I hope you enjoyed this little, I guess, I guess it was a review of the Max plushes from Disney, uh, the newer version and then the vintage version. So if you did, leave a comment down below. Maybe you want to see me review the flounders. I have uh, one of the vintage ones and then one of the more modern ones. So if you want that, leave that comment down below or just feel free to say anything down below. I love to chat to my subscribers. So I will see you guys in my next video.